Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my new solar panel installation. Uh, it's a 20 watt solar panel, so it's pretty small, but I mean, it's not terribly small and it's not massive. And I just finished my uh, pretty much full installation and I want to show you guys what it looks like. So here we go. Alright, so here it is the uh, beautiful solar panel. It's got a bunch of little cells lined up here. It's not a, a big constant cell, but you know, I made this little mount to go on the uh, our deck railing, you can see. And I tilted it at an angle such that it'll get some of the morning sun. And by the time the sun goes over the whole sky, it actually sits right in that little, uh, nook there and I'm going to be picking up some more sun all the way until 7, 8 o'clock just peeking through those trees it comes directly through onto the deck and hits the solar panel still. So I've got it in a great place to charge and I took out the little connectors that came with it and I just uh, heat shrunk and uh, wired up my own and I ran some black underground uh, 16 gauge uh, wire I have it go along the deck and then around through the house and into our gas line and if you guys are curious in what kind of solar panel this is it's a Renology you can see it there you could probably scan the QR code too if you really wanted and I'll just show you the uh, gas line real quick or where it goes in. So I just looked around my house for a bit and I found uh, where our natural gas comes in for like our stove and uh, uh, what's it called? Our laundry, <laughs> our dryer. And so I just, I stuck a, I, I bent out a metal clothes hanger and stuck it through there to see if I could get it all the way inside the house I could so I just taped the clothes hanger and the wire together and I shoved it through there and I wired it into the house so let's go take a look at the inside okay so down here next to our workbench is where the solar panel comes in with the gas line the uh, solar panel wires and I have it run along the ceiling here and then through all the floor joists down that way. So I'll show you where it ends up over by my desk. All right, so here's my setup of my uh, solar panel charging station inside the house. So here's the uh, solar panel, oops, sorry. So here's the solar panel wire that comes in, the positive and negative, goes into my charge controller on the positive and negative of the solar panel. Then uh, you've got the uh, two outputs for the battery, battery voltage, and those go out. And I have those hook up to my expert power, uh, seven amp hour lead acid little battery. And that battery is connected to my DC my 12 volt DC to 110 to 120 volt AC inverter and that has that's a, a best tech 300 watts um, it's got two little USB outputs and two wall outlets and then I just hooked up uh, this kinetic 600 volt or 600 watts 20 amp hour 12 volt uh, car battery. Actually, it's for speakers, but you know what? It works. And I just connected those with some alligator clamps. And so, yeah, my inverter right now, you can see, is powered on, running off of the solar, and it's actually uh, powering this light along with, don't mind all the cords, but that. Uh, uh, that whatever you call it right there <laughs> with all the plugs so yeah that's uh, 
that's kind of my setup on the inside. And to give you an idea of what a 7 amp hour battery can do, um, I was watching TV on my uh, Sony Bravia 115 watt TV for about 30 to 45 minutes and that was on almost a full charge on this little battery and that drained it and yeah I mean that was that was about uh, maxing out for that battery about about 45 minutes on that TV but I just hooked up this battery um, we're charging it as you can see got the little charge light on and hopefully we can get a lot more power out of this uh, little setup so uh, thanks for watching guys and feel free to subscribe if you're interested in watching more wiring videos. I do a lot of stuff with uh, electronics and electricity wires, stuff like that. Or, uh, I mean automotive, just I have a bunch of different hobbies. So if you'd just like to follow me, see what I'm doing, feel free to subscribe and thanks for watching guys.